the family and I have decided that it's finally the time to completely renovate the bakery. Soup to nuts. Hoboken should have been redone five years ago. Let's face it, this bakery is getting a little dated and worn out. She's overdue for a complete makeover. Oh, the new season of Cake Boss is gonna be um, pretty amazing. I think that we went back to um, the basics on some of the cakes that I've done. You know, we're not only showing the big giant cakes that I make, we're showing them, but we're showing some intricate cakes that are like wedding cakes and more um, kid cakes and different things. So, you know, it's just for me, with my busy life, being able to be in the kitchen more and make those type of cakes, it's like therapy for me. So I feel better doing it. We have a big event coming up. We're celebrating the 100th anniversary of Frank Sinatra, Hoboken's most famous native son. He's born December 12th, 1915. Not only am I a huge Frank Sinatra fan, but uh, the fact that he's from Hoboken is pretty special to me as well. You know, anything Frank Sinatra is awesome for me. I wanted the viewers to understand not only what I make with cakes and stuff like that, but I want them to know that I have a thousand employees. I run a really big business, you know, so it's not just about the cake you see me making. Uh, you know, and I opened the door a little bit so that people could kind of see into what my business is all about and what we're doing. So the design of the bakery is to have an open kitchen so our customers can see all the baking, all the decorating, and you can get the smell of the cakes and the different cookies and pastries. I'm a businessman first and an artist second. You know, um, you gotta know how to play that game because it's a very fine line. Because um, you wanna make cakes because it's your art, but you, you can't do it for nothing. You gotta make money with it. For me, it's about challenging myself. It's about pushing myself to the limits. I started out as a baker, but I had to become a businessman to provide for my family. And I put my blood, sweat, and tears into everything I do. But what makes me happiest is my roots. Going in and being a baker and cake decorator every day. I think it's God helping me. You know, steering my hands or my vision or, or, or what, what, what it is that drives me to get that achievement, you know? And when you step back and you look at what you created, I remember finishing that cake and stepping back and, and all my decorators, their jaws were on the floor, you know? And I, and I was like, I still got it. You know, I, I, I could still turn heads like that and, and, and amaze myself. So, you know, it's always trying to outdo yourself and you're always trying to one up yourself. And I want the fans to know there's not a bigger critic on Buddy Velastro than Buddy Velastro. Frank Sinatra would have been 100th this year. Hoboken is celebrating, so of course I'm making a cake. Look at that. Uh -huh. Wow. Hello, Clower viewers. Don't forget to watch Cake Boss on Discovery Home and Health. Now that I see the ovens, I realize the space may be too small for the open kitchen I want. This is a big problem. I mean, we're supposed to reopen in a few days.